many of us have, you know, bits and pieces lying around the house, old furniture that we don't really know what to do with. I mean, do you put up with it? It's a bit ugly. Do you chuck it out? Well, I reckon with a bit of a makeover, we can give this lot a facelift and create a whole new purpose for a little corner of your place. OK, first job giving this pine dressing table a modern makeover. Of course, this is a dressing table, but, you know, with a few modifications, it'll become a pretty cute desk. Speaking of cute, I quite like this mirror. It's nice and strong. I think I'll save that for another day. Now, I do want to modify the top, so I think that these need to go. <laughs> Give it a light sand, hit it with a primer, then over the top with this beautiful chalky grey. It does look great, but it's not hard when you start with great bones. So what can you do with an ugly old metal filing cabinet? Well, of course, you can just paint it, but that's a bit plain. I think we can give it a lot more character and texture by making wooden panels for the front. I'm gluing a bit of moulding onto pre-cut MDF. It's such an easy way to jazz up the front. And if you do have any little gaps, you can actually fill them with no more gaps. For little DIY jobs like this, you know, sometimes you don't need those big, great corking guns. And so these little cans are super convenient because they come ready to go. Look at that. They're so light. They're so easy to use. And I like the fact that I can keep one easily on hand. This one is easy to use. Gives a great job. First of all, I'll need to apply a primer just to give you a good top coat. Then a metal primer and I'm finishing the drawers in the same grey as I used for the desk. I'm pretty happy with this. It's looking transformed already, but I have left this panel deliberately blank. That's so I can stick on my new fronts. I've pre-drilled for new handles. And now I'm just going around the outside just with a little bit of the liquid nails. OK, now to hold this in position while that's setting, I'm just using some of these little clamps and to protect my paintwork, just some folded up paper towel. Oh, squeeze it in. Yep, happy. Add handles and the filing cabinet's done. Looking good, now for the frame. I've just removed the glass and the print and using liquid nails, pop some primed MDF back in and tape it until it dries. It wasn't really the print that I wanted or the glass, it was actually this gorgeous frame. So by replacing what was inside with a sheet of primed MDF, I now have the perfect base for a chalkboard. Now I have noticed though, there is a bit of a gap under the frame, so I'll just fill that, just using again my trusty little tube of no more gaps. And I think what's so great about this is you can actually turn up or down the flow so you can have minimum or maximum depending on what you need. Then it's on with the chalkboard paint and yes, over the frame too. You'll see why in a minute. Now you're probably thinking it's all completely black, but don't worry, we're going to just kind of add a little bit of detail before the paint's had time to dry. I've just got a damp rag and just very lightly, if you go over the top, you can see that it takes away some of that paint and just shows up these detailed areas with little gold highlights. Now before the furniture comes back in, I just want to give this area a bit of a freshen up with a clean coat of paint. I've already used this in so many different ways, but I'm going to go back to the way most people use it, and that's just to fill these gaps in the architraves and the skirting boards. Now that it's filled, you can see how much neater this already looks. It's going to give me a great end result once it's all painted. Forget putting up with that old furniture that you never really loved, or worse still, chucking it out. Take another look around your place. You might just have a few gems that will scrub up as good as this.